Hey developers, today I have a really quick tip on Vue.js using something called this.root. If you guys are interested in Vue.js content, please click that subscribe button and leave a comment below on what cool stuff you like on Vue.js. I always like to hear what you guys are doing. So let me just start here. This is an app I created in Vue.js. This is really simple. I have three components, a hello world.view, a foo, and a bar. And inside the bar, it just has it works bar. In the foo, it says it works foo. And then the hello world view, I just have the basic logo at the top, the welcome to your Vue.js app. And then I have here, you can see I have a method called pressed that shows hello there. And if you look here, I just have a V on click directive. I can go like this with the at sign. And if I refresh it here, I click on anywhere on this title. It just brings up a little window here that says hello, this little pop-up. So really simple. So I want to show you a way you can pass information from one component to another without using Vuex or some kind of bus. There, there's something called a a service bus in Vue.js, but and you really don't need to use that. There's uh, there's other ways to do it. Of course, you can use props, but let's say you have like deeply nested components. Now, in another video, I showed you guys information about how to use inject and provide, and that's great for deeply nested components. But let's say we have components that are deeply nested in different areas of our app and we just want to share something between all these components easily. So you shouldn't do this too often, but this could be a quick way to do it. And if you don't using Vuex, this might be a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and use something called this dollar, this dot root dollar sign. So I'm going to do this. Uh, if we just put a debugger here and I refresh it, I'm going to open up the console. I'm going to inspect it. I'm going to open up the console here and I'm going to click here and I hit my little uh, pop up here, my alert window. And you can see here I have the window here. So if I type in this dot root, you can see I have this root option. And in fact, this is shared between all the components in your Vue.js app. So if I wanted to do something like view this, this dot root blah equals hello, you can see now this dot root dot blah equals hello. And so this is a good way of sharing information between different components in your application. Obviously, you could do something like window dot blah, but this is actually the wrong way to do it. You don't want to do it this way. You want to keep it within inside the Vue.js ecosystem, so to speak. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit play here and I'm going to delete the debugger. And I'm going to refresh it. So we're back to the way we were. OK, let's go ahead and, and see how this works in action. So what we can do here is if we go if this dot dollar sign root dot blah, if it's false, then what we want to do is do this dot root dot blah equals 1. And else, we're going to increment it. And just to make sure it's working, we'll just add it in here. Let's we'll do this dot root. And I'm going to save it. And if I hit it, you can see here it says it's an object object. Make sure I do blah here. You see it's undefined as we expect because it's the first time through. But now it goes to one, two. So it's incrementing, which is good. But let's see if these other components are being able to access this dot root. So what we could do is we go to foo here. We're going to add an h2 tag and we're just going to put in root dot blah. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to add it to bar too. So now we have this root dot blah. And by the way, when you're using your templates, you don't have to put this in. So I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to see once again, I'm undefined one two. Now if I go to foo, it works three. So I'll close this. So you can see here, I'm going to put it three, four, five. So if I hit it, so it's one above it because the way I'm 
so I'll put the alert at the bottom so it makes a little more sense. I'm gonna start it again. So if I hit it, it's one. You see you are one, one, two, three. It's not being reactive, by the way. We don't see it automatically updating, but when we go to the, when we actually change routes, you can see it's being updated then. So you can see here this this dot root dot blah is being shared by both our foo and bar. We don't have to use props to set it. We don't have to do something hacky and use the window. We're actually using within the Vue.js ecosystem. We're passing this this variable around, and we don't have to worry about using props or using Vuex or something like that. So this is definitely the way you want to do it if you are trying to if you're thinking about using some kind of message bus. Don't don't do that use this dot root, but obviously this can be quite complicated, especially if you have a lot of state in this dot root, uh, you can become very, it can be very difficult to understand what's happening. But so use this sparingly, but it's a cool way that you can pass information between your components. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Have you ever used this dot dollar sign root? What do you think? Leave a comment below.